Poem. Chapter 46. A Miraculous Ladybug Fanfiction Written and Narrated by Mira of Rose. Artwork by XAA. You can find a link to the artist in the description box below. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out the other previous 45 parts of this story. Links to those in the description box. And if you've somehow not subscribed at this point, go ahead and take a moment to do that. It's okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. And smash the like button while you're at it and leave a comment in support of the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, put cat's heart twisted. Now then, please enjoy Home, Chapter 46. Adrian Agrest as Cat Noir. Cat stared at his mother, preserved behind glass like a modern art exhibit. Mother? Mother was here? He touched the glass, cooler than it should be, as his breath fogged the barrier between him and... whatever that was. A wax figure, perhaps? Did he have his aunt model for it? He. Cat felt his heart twist, thinking about his father again. Why? Why? It didn't take a long adventure to find his lair. How had he been so blind to it? And who else knew? Obviously Natalie did, but what about his driver? The cleaning gentleman? The cook? The... Cat's whole body shook, but he couldn't tell if it was rage or betrayal or something else. This whole time, this whole time he'd slept under a villain, his villain's lair and above his mother's memorial. Disgusting. Simply disgusting. Had he known? Had Hawkmoth known? No. He'd wanted the ring so terribly, he didn't mind becoming the most wretched father of the year. It made sense. Cat only took one psychology class so far, but knew that obsessing over something the way Hawkmoth did meant compromising your attention. Adrian was the compromise. He couldn't help but chuckle. His father gave more attention to Natalie, the assistant, than him, and he thought it was because she was such a nice person and that they were maybe, with a sliver of chance, falling in love. But no, she was his partner in crime, literally. Ugh, he wanted to wretch at the betrayal. The numbness, the denial of the news, was wearing off, leaving him as bitter as the lemon cupcakes he'd made for Marinette when he mistook baking powder for powdered sugar. He'd also used lemons that weren't ripe yet, so that was a mess of a creation that was a great example for his feelings. He was underprepared, overwhelmed, and straight-up embarrassed. Yeah, he wasn't just angry his father was Hawk Moth. He was embarrassed, and worse yet, Ladybug knew Gabriel was Hawkmoth as well. Ugh, oh, camembert. Cat Noir sat crisscross applesauce on the floor in his mother's sanctum, his elbows propped on his knees as he held his face. Why? Why? Why did his father... Ah! The answer lay in front of him. He wanted the miraculous to turn back time to before his mother got sick. That's why he didn't care what damage he left, even to his own son, because he could just turn back time. But why couldn't he just heal her in the present? The doctors couldn't figure out the reason why she got sick, so why waste the wish to go back in time? Wait, no. He couldn't heal her now because, well claws in. Adrian sat in front of his mother, throat tight as Plague groaned and began insisting for cheese, unaware of his surroundings. A garden? Plague asked, patting his belly. Perfect for a picnic. 
Where's the cheese? This wasn't a statue. This was his mother. Adrian felt his goose flesh pick against his clothes, as though even his skin wanted to escape the truth in front of him. His mother hadn't left. His mother wasn't in a life support facility. His mother wasn't dead. No. His mother was in front of him. He didn't think it was possible to feel even worse after learning of his father's truths, but each layer was more repulsive. Adrian swallowed bile and stood up, frustrated there was nothing he could do for his caged mother at this moment. Sure, there were actions he could take, but it was better to let the idea swirl instead of acting rashly. Adrian retreated to his room, comforted by the sound of his echoing footsteps down the hallway. The arched ceilings and distant Paris traffic was a tourist's aesthetic, so he may as well appreciate it for a moment. This was his childhood home, and he didn't know what would happen to it from here on out. But something about it pushed him forward. Even the morning light filtering through the tall windows seemed to encourage him. His room was not as he'd left it. It was ripped apart, torn from edge to edge in rage. His father? He couldn't think of anyone else. But why? Because something he wanted to control walked away? What an abusive maniac! In the light of the morning, he could finally see his old man for what he was. He'd worked so hard for his attention, and for what? He wasn't worth it. Tracing his fingers over the piano keys, Adrian saw the room for what it was. His apartment could fit in here several times over, and there was all the entertainment money could buy with a view people would rob for, but it wasn't anything like a home. It was barely a bedroom. If anything, a bed looked out of place in a rec room like this. Now, more than ever, Adrian knew that this wasn't his home. Not anymore. Nor had it been for a long time. Adrian went to the bottom desk drawer, pulling out the fabric that hadn't made it into the two boxes he'd taken with him on the day he snuck out of this building for good. The pink and blue thread, a pusheen aesthetic, stared up at him, speaking the truth he'd known for a long time with silence. Folding the cloth, Adrian slipped his truth into his back pocket and grabbed Plag off the piano, clearly unaware of the chaos and destruction surrounding him as he gouged on a hidden stash of camembert. What? The Kwame began. Come on! Claws out, Adrian said, making his way to his usual bathroom escape route. Without looking back, Cat Noir left his nemesis's lair, still angry and not ready to bargain with the news. He knew where he had to go to process this. Cat Noir went where his home is. Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 47 is on the way. In the meantime, you can check out other videos on this channel for more Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction, and if you haven't already, smash that like button and type home is where Marinette is in the comment section. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!